how's everyone today? Um, I am coming to you today and I want to welcome you to my kitchen. Um, that one says Mama Lisa's Kitchen and I got that actually from a thrift shop. Um, you know, this is my kitchen and I try my best to keep it nice and clean and organized. But today I'm coming to you for a specific reason. <laughs> my kitchen for the last two mornings, I have been smelling urine. And the urine is coming from... And it's from here. This is the back of the refrigerator and you can smell it all the way to this door. Um, I was at work and I did some thinking and I decided to come home and take the whole entire refrigerator apart. And this is my refrigerator and um, this is my meal prep and some more vegetables. And these are the cleaning supplies I got today. I went to HEB and I got some bleach, some Dawn, some apples, I mean, uh, some vinegar, another box of baking soda. I'll be using the odor band. And I got this, um, I had to order it from Amazon. A beautiful sister, a, a fellow YouTuber, <clears throat> she um, got on her YouTube channel and she told all of us about the Harris Warwick Acid um roach powder so we put this down on uh we got it friday we put it down saturday night we put it behind the refrigerator we put it behind the stove behind the um toilet and the zinks like that so we're gonna see how that works out i'm pretty paranoid about that whole situation but yeah here's my mess um there's lots of dishes to wash lots of dishes to put away um and I have these pipe fitters. And my idea was to put the pipe fitters, these are what we use in the winter time to put across the pipes because um, it's starting to get really, really cold here in Texas lately. And you put this around your pipes to save your pipes from bursting. Well, I got some of these from the garage and I was gonna put these in front of my refrigerator, but I Googled it today and it said you shouldn't do that because your refrigerator needs ventilation. So I don't know if I've stopped the ventilation. This is not my refrigerator. We live in a rental. So this is a rental property. And this refrigerator, the brand is called Season, which I've never heard of that. But nowhere online can I find out how to remove something very important. I want to remove the drip pan. And I believe the drip pan is back here. And, um, Oh, I believe the drip pan's back here. And I believe that this has something to do with the smell that I have been smelling. So I wanna get that off. But anyway, that's what I'm doing today. And it's probably gonna take about two more hours, but I'm gonna get it done. Um, I wanna be able to store my meal prep. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, find a way. But um, yeah, uh, also I can't keep any food out anymore. So that's been something special. Those are gonna have to go as their black baggies, my daughter's chips. Today I found this Tide on sale at HEB for $15.99. I was really excited to get that. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm dealing with today. Uh, this is just a short little video, I guess, because, um, there are sisters on YouTube that really encourage me, and lately, one sister, um, Faye Green, has been really helping me, um, whether she knows it or not, to clean more and be more organized and be a better, um, home cleaner so thank you sister Faye and um, I'm gonna give her a shout out 
and uh, link her video um, on my uh, community, the part uh, on the YouTube channel, the community part. But anyway, if you like what you see, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. And sh a shout out to my children and my grandchildren. If you see this video, um, even if you don't like the video, comment. Tell me that you don't like it. Tell me that I'm airing all of our dirty kitchen business <laughs> on on YouTube. Um, yeah, I think that would be really funny to see. But anyway, yeah, I love you guys. And uh, some leg up. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to tell you this. No matter what anyone ever tells you, just know that you are enough. Don't let anyone ever tell you that you are not enough. Okay, so we managed to get the back of this off. Um, I should have showed you guys before I closed it. We closed it back up, but there's no liquid in the drip pan. There's no liquid in that drip pan. So there was nothing to clean out, but this, these coils were filthy, filthy dirty. And this is what came from the coils. Um, yeah, so hopefully, um, I did read that um, if the coils really get really bad, then it could put off a smell also. So uh, we will see if we smell that same smell tomorrow morning. And if we do, I will get someone out here. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch my video today. If you like what you see, please like, subscribe, share. And as always, don't let anyone ever tell you that you are not enough. I can't say that enough.